on to see how would you like to do a directional drawing? Let's draw Pete the cat. This is what it might look like. It might look a little different. So let's erase the board. So go get a piece of paper and a crayon or a pencil or something that you want to draw with. So you need one sheet of paper and we can get started. So you can pause the video now and then come back once you're ready. I'm going to erase this one and then we're going to start over again. All right. So first of all, on your paper, I want you to draw a circle. So draw a circle, big and round. Remember, a circle is like a ball. Okay, so draw your circle. Got it? I'll wait for just a minute and let you write your, draw your circle on there. Next, I want you to put two straight lines at the top here. Okay? Got it? Underneath the straight line, I want you to draw a circle. Oh, that one looks like a little like, there we go. How's that? Okay, you got your little circle, half circle underneath it. Next, let's draw a triangle upside down. Go across down and up. Next, let's give him a little smile. Can you put a smile on him? And let's put some whiskers. Three whiskers on each side. Alright. Ah, what's missing? Ah, he needs some ears. Let's put some triangle ears. Can you make a triangle? Down the mountain? Or up the mountain? Down again? A triangle has three sides. So I'm going to draw a triangle here. And just come down and down. And a triangle here. Alright, next let's give him some curious little eyes to watch with. So give him some little pupils there. So now we have his face. Let's draw a rectangle. Start right here by the circle. Let's come out and down over and up. So out and down, over and up. Got it? Let's draw some legs next. How many legs does Pete the Cat have? That's right, four. So let's put two in the front and two in the back. We're going to make rectangles for legs. Come down, over, and back up again. Down, over, and back up again for his legs. And let's do the same in the back for his, these are his front legs and he needs his back legs. So on the back, we're gonna come down, over, and up. Down, over, and up. Kind of looks like an upside down V, doesn't it? I think so too. Next, let's put some circles. Can you draw a circle for his feet? How many feet does Pete the Cat have? <laughs> so let's give it a circle on his feet. And for his tail, let's do a rectangle. Come down and up and over. And on the tip of his tail, let's draw another triangle. There you go. There's your Pete the Cat. to get a Pete the Cat storybook and read next. Wouldn't that be fun? Alright, bye for now. See if you can draw your Pete the Cat over and over again. It might be fun. See you later. Bye.